but here he is. The crowd goes wild up in commentary. It's Scott Frost and Phil. Hannah, thank you very much indeed. Let me tell you this, in the USA, when there's an emergency, you ring 911. Here, it's only 91, but it's very much an emergency for Jeremy Jones' side. That it is, Phil, that it is. Well, if it was a lagging competition, we would be up two to one, possibly. The last lag, Skyler Woodward pocketed it in the top right corner. Look at Tyler Steyer and Double J. Fetter Gorst with a grin to greet the table. Rack number one, Team USA. And what do you do, Phil? You break. What do you do in this position? I guess you just carry on. I do like where he's put the cue ball. One has come short, though. And he is dry, and I pointed this out last match, Phil. The success on the break has been all Europe today. Alcady in the first doubles was especially accurate, especially effective. We got a little bit of play in the game, you know what I mean? Push. Push out. Push out. Push out. It really has been the Jason Shaw show tonight. And there's added spice here because if he were to win this match in partnership with FSR, well, MVP would come into sharp focus. Yeah, and there's no doubt. It's something special to see how he manages this arena. Until you're here and really see it, it's hard to put into words. Yeah, everything's way away. I mean, they did pass up the rollout. Team USA. I can't blame him. The three is tied up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think maybe maybe we can uh, sing it that way and go back here with the cue ball. I'll just bank it down with the cue ball there. They tied the three up intentionally. Well, he's going to lose it a little bit here, but there's all sorts of problems. The eight blocks the two. You can see at this angle, the combination is not easy by any means. There's the captain with the easiest job in the world as of right now. So there are a lot of problems. One thing I'm hoping for this match, Phil, is to see some real good communication between Woodward and Gorst. What a clean hit this was. Work to no do. No extension, Fetter. Go for it. We'll just bring the two ball, two ball here. Yep. Yeah. 15, 15. I like Woodward's communication so far. Watch out, cue ball. on the face of the American captain says it all. Such a good guy, Jeremy Jones. Extension. Extension, Can't help but feel a lot of sympathy for his plight right now. There's no doubt about it. Jeremy, in my opinion, one of the most intelligent about the game that there is today, maybe of all time. Wants to catch the nine and look at this. Of course, it's perfect. Has to get on the pink. And of course it passes the eight. If not, can, can you punch it? He wouldn't have played it like this. 
Just right yeah, away. Get off there and back up. Anybody struggled for Europe? It's Ruiz. He's been real snatchy and clinchy, but his team has had his back to the fullest all week. Come on, Europe is snooker. Jason Shaw. If anyone will make this and bring the house down, Phil. You're right, though, about FSR. He's the World Nine Ball champion and top of the World Nine Ball Tour rankings. And yes, you're right. He's been the shakiest of the Europeans. Well, this looks good. And I say it time and time again, the first game is so important in this format for so many different reasons. I think this is a, about as strong a team as you could get for USA. And it's in these positions, Phil, that it seems like everybody expects something to go wrong. And if they could just get away from that, or we could just get away from that. And that was well done. Gorse can handle this without a problem. That seven was a little thinner than it looked. All your focus in making this eight. Right in the heart. Needs to get off the rail. All is well. And this is a new beginning. Positional shot and indirectly that led to the USA winning the first rack. Jason Shaw to break and his break rack number two has been devastating. Towards 1 0 favor of Team USA, Team Europe to break. Keep an eye on that one ball and there it goes. Where does the two finish? Well, they've got work to do, a lot of work to do. If Ruiz chooses to attack. Or play the two down there. But the two down there is dangerous because they might get the carry. I would flick off, I would flick off it and then go and get the two ball down there. If like you like it. Just, just yeah. clean, right? Just clean it and take the two ball down there and put the two here. Yeah, but can we double kiss, you know? Okay. okay. Oh, pretty sure. That, I think that's the shot. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Take your time. About 18 seconds. Friend, just make sure of the cue ball, buddy. Yeah. And this is well done. The communication. Is so important in this format. The three ball doesn't go. That's nah, tight. Super and tight. even though it's only one to zero USA in this set, Stinchin. Stinchin, you sense the seriousness in Europe, and that's. You got the right one. You got the right cue. Huh? You got the right cue. Yeah. Okay. You have uh, Always 33 important. seconds. And it's really important to make sure Gorst has the right cue. As Woodward told him. He is the best jump shot maker on earth. And that is why. Does 
Give me two seconds. Three Scott. pass, uh, Bill. I think it goes. Tried. Barely. Tried. I mean, you can play two there. Short side? Yeah, 13 seconds. Woodward believes this ball does go. He had big body movement there. His shoulder dropped. It was, I mean, it was really close. It was yeah, close. I mean, really close with that camera angle. That's why they were looking at it so hard. Play that up there. Yeah. Extension. Extension, please. Quite a complicated rack, Scott. Yes, there's no doubt about that. Could he go at the nine here? I think he did go at the nine here and use a backdoor safety with the pink four and purple five. Man, how get the fucking three ball? Does he have him snookered? Or it looks like he's got his playing cue. No, this might be the break cue. I think he's miscued on this jump slightly. But looky here, Phil. Is it too low too late? We got one. We got one. Baby. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Recognizing they got a roll. And I had to recognize it as well. It just seems as if Lady Luck has not been in Europe for the USA. Looking to kick and hold here. Ruiz with a straight low spin. He's hit it thin and locked the three in. I don't believe he played that. I do not believe he played that. We can play the keyboard behind the head. Yeah, nah, mate. Look, it's going to slide a bit. It's going to hit that 15 seconds there. Just play maybe the four ball to the five. Ten seconds. Come on. I believe he was trying to kick and hold behind the purple and the pink, like Shaw just did. It needs a hop for USA. It needs a bounce out. By Shaw's reaction, Woodward can get to it. Both extensions have been used in this rack. That's why, in the end, Shaw had to really hurry. The seconds were dripping down. 15 seconds. This is the biggest shot of the rack here. And hit it really clean, really clean, especially with the clock ticking in the background. to hit this clean no six ball all is well seven in the right middle it needs to settle where do you want to be make sure you're close fine. where do you want to be Anywhere, as long as I have a little angle. Or if you want to stop it, I'll follow it or whatever. But what do you want? I would be here. 15? Yeah, I don't know that it matters where he wants to be. I think Woodward could manage the eight from just about anywhere center table. Are we headed to uncharted waters, Phil, with a possible two to nothing lead for USA? in this doubles. Yeah. It looks like we are. Hey, two nothing. In he goes. I'm going to give you one remarkable statistic here. It's the first time this week in any match that the USA have led by two racks. 
So 2 0 up, and it's Woodward to break in rack three as John Lehman, the referee from New Jersey, yeah, that gets to off. work on the cue ball. Rack number three. Current score is 2 0 in favor of Team USA. Team USA to break. And the one fires in. Do they get a shot on the two? Look at how things have changed. I believe there's a gap with natural position to the three. I'm running into the five here. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. And it's close. I may not run it. He's concerned. Seconds. He's concerned seconds about running good. into the five. Purple five. If he misses the five, the cue ball naturally travels two rails. If he catches the five, I think it's okay. It's to settle. I thought he might hit it a little easier than that. Sister. He looked a little quick there in the final back swing. Just a little quick. He's overcut it. By some margin. Isn't the easiest of shots. I believe it carries position. Shaw's in the zone. I believe he was born in the zone, Phil. At Fall least the for the Moscone Cup. Get back here. Here, right? Yeah, me. Come on, bud. We have touched on this. Ruiz. The only one for Europe that's really struggled this week. Yes. Shot. Great shot. Didn't struggle there. This is pretty straightforward. So a big miss by Woodward to lead team to a 3 0 start. Boosting the crowd. It's a risky business because there would be egg on your face if you missed. But what does he miss? Nothing. That's right, he never seems to miss. Not in this environment. Audacious, accurate, on the mark. Europe get a frame, a rack on the board. They trail low, 2-1. Can the USA possibly pull one back and give some respectability to a very lopsided scoreline at the moment? There, if any were needed, that winning away from home in the Moscone Cup is possible. Europe, 11-7 victors 12 years ago. The MVP, as he was on a regular basis back then, was the Dutchman, Niels Feyen. Is it going to be MVP for Jason Shaw this year? It would be his third such honour after 2020 in Coventry and 2021 right here at Alexandra Palace. Yeah, Phil, and you've got to notice the guy that was holding the cup up in that memory was the great Johan Rusnik. Just so happens to be the last captain to bring the cup home to Team USA in 2018 and 2019 with the great Jeremy Jones as vice captain. Jason Shaw just going to the other end of the arena to get his 
Q cloth. All right, everybody, here we go. Rack number four. Current scores two to one in favor of Team USA. Team Europe to break. For the first time in this match, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz breaks off normally. This is one of his great assets. Yeah, you're not kidding about that. The one does come short. Does it make it up in the corner? No, it doesn't. It holds up. USA has ball. to get out here. Nine ball move? Nine ball and the one ball. This is not easy either due to the position of the one. Fortunately, the two is in front of the lower left. They can go rail first or catch the left side of the one and just come straight out. Is pretty deep though. Yes. Ooh, he's got a nice rub on the three there. I mean, really? You can live with thin. Yeah. That's yeah, what just I was talking about. Some distance for the talented young Gorst. Fifteen. I believe the pink will play in the lower right corner as well, but he's going to come back for the side. Where you want? It's been a good year on the international right. stage for Skylar Woodward. Semi-finalist so in two big matchroom majors, All the right. UK and Spanish Opens. At times he's been outstanding. They are making their way through this rack very nicely. A look at Carl Boys along with Jeremy Jones, Tyler Steyer. Just need to get up table here. Either side of the six works. Oh man, he's killed it a little. I think this guy's okay. He can tighten up two rails out here. He's gonna have to hold it. He could also use inside, but these great players try to shy away from that. Gorst might come to the left side of the six instead of trying to hold with this new cloth. Sometimes the kill ball, cue ball just doesn't turn. Nice recovery, Phil. When FSR left the one ball in the jaws, the American eyes lit up. Towards USA. Yes, and with a break to come in rack five. Three one confirmed. Come on, let's go. Jeremy Jones looking just slightly happier. Floor talking with Hannah quite a bit, and it is not easy to hear what anybody's saying. Oh no, watch the cue ball. And compounding Gorsh's annoyance, look where the balls are, all of them in the open. And what are the odds the cue ball got kissed from the lower right corner all the way up to the side? Your point, Phil, these balls are laying sweet.
shot. Yeah, nicely done. Directly over the five shooting that ball. Handled it well. I can pull it and come back up to here. Yeah, it's better because yeah. I can come there off. Shot, yeah. It's pride of performance with the Europeans. You would think the job is done, but they're not going to fall victim to any form of complacency. And they want to win by a wide a margin as humanly possible. That shot was big for Ruiz. He was allowed to let his stroke out. Sometimes when you do that, you get all the jitters out of that backhand. And you see his pace. Each step seems to be a little quicker. Let's hope for USA that the scratch off the break isn't the turning point in this match. Extension, John. Extension, please. Here he goes again, Phil. Yeah, I was just going to say the high jinx of Shaw have been toned down a little in this match, maybe because of the scoreline, but he couldn't resist himself there. The gap is once more just a single rack. FSR deposits the nine ball. The USA lead 3-2. That's David Alcady and daughter. Beats the Moscow Nico. First goal, 3-2 in favour of Team USA. Team Europe. Break. And the one is down. The correct bump on the cue ball. The three is on, tough, buddy. but the three shot. nines available. If they play this bank, Shaw will have the combination. Come on, bro, 100%. All in. All in. Telling his man to commit. And I got the rest. Just knock this down. Yeah. He's done it, Phil. He's done it. He's Let's go. The house will come down. Remember, they are 9 1 up overall. Is it going to be 10 1 after this? We are currently tied at three games. Well, the way we got here is a horrible kiss on the break and scratch by Gorst, and then a 3 9 combination. The next game from Shaw. moment that was for Woodward. The two is going to spin. And let's remember what happened after Woodward's previous golden break this evening. It was in the fifth rack of his singles against Jason Shaw. Shaw then broke and ran. Can Shaw and FSR do the same here? 
friend. Friend. I'm not playing for the side. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, even anywhere there. Just make the ball get here. USA crowd getting into this. There's Wolford's father. John, what a support system extension. they Sense have extension. been extension, for their young son, who has shown on, a lot of heart this week. He's missed it, Phil. This is a chance for USA. Plenty of side was applied, but even so, it's not a ball you associate with FSR missing. Yeah, he's overcut this ball by some margin. Once again, he proves to be the weakest link in Europe's team. Right there where it is. This is a big shot here. He's over the nine slightly. Really just has to stop the cue ball. What a shot this is. At Gorst over the ball. Oh, and he's hit it clean. Phil Woodward missed one earlier. Kind of similar to this. Yeah, overcut that. What about this one? Oh, he's hit it right down the drain. You're out of the straight. Straight on the rail. Needs Would you rather just be though? here? I mean, if you want me to draw back, I can, but I'm saying, would you rather I have you at an angle? I can get you like here. You want here? That's fine right here. Okay. 15. Just draw it back a little bit. You don't have to get on the pro side of the eight or above it. This is good. Gorst these days the high based high in high Indiana. High inside, yeah, yeah. High left, high left. Can the adopted Hoosier hand over to the adopted Texan to pop the nine? He's done it, Phil. What more? To get us the second point, and they're going to enjoy it. This yet, kid. And you're a few points away from the cup. But for now, this will do. Let's go! Let's go! We got it! For the USA, all donations gratefully accepted. I thought that was a tremendous display from Woodward and Gorst in the face of a fiercely partisan crowd. Everything was going against the USA. They deserve the cold one after that.